Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against the Colorado Rockies. And now, your 2000 First pitch coming at you right after the break. Colorado Rockies. So just about set now. And the batter now, Luis Robert. Leading off the afternoon. Why the kick the pitch? In for a strike, and we are underway. Right into the plate, and a foul ball. Swing and a miss, curveball in the dirt. Diaz on to first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike, and now it's Josh Naylor. The right field, Josh. First offering, and it just misses. Next pitch misses. Now 2-0. Oh. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Gets it to first, and that is out number two. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off first. of that junk. The first base. Andrew Vaughn now. Andrew ripped on a line to center. Hilliard makes the catch, and that'll do it. We go to the bottom of the first. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. Leading the wind of the pitch. The There's the strike. Hitter. Jonathan Daza. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Next offering way off the plate. Fouled off left side. Next offering misses, and it's two and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. On the ground. Mendick handles, tosses the first, one gone, bottom half of the first. Good late bite on that slider, got the hitter out in front, rolled over on that it, exactly. exactly what it was supposed the to do. Baseman. Here's Colton, Colton Welker to hit, Welker. and he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next pitch inside, one and one. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate. Right here, he's working inside. Next offering upstairs. Strike two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. And the 2 2. It's softly on the ground to third. Sends it across to first. And here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over, put it on the ground. Brendan Rogers takes one off the outside here. Two down, nobody on. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And a 3-0 finds the zone. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Makes the catch up against the wall. Back here at Coors Field. New inning getting started. And now the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And the first pitch misses for ball one. 
the 1 0. And that skips in the dirt. The wind to kick the 2 0. They say it went. The 2 1. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's Aloy Jimenez. The left fielder. Aloy Jimenez. Next pitch is popped up. MacGyver settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride Batting up fit. in the zone right there. The Hitter looked 13. like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just oh. beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, digging for two. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. He somehow got to that outside pitch and pulled it hard into the outfield. Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, but you wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his bat. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity. Has some trouble with it. Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. Welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's a big power Here threat. Go. Sam Hillier. He'll First offering here. misses the mark. Hillier. And the righty deals. Oh. Misses with the 2-0. And he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. There's a strike. And the right hander's 3 1. That clips the corner. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. And the right hander deals. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Here's Charlie Blackman. The right fielder. Charlie. Blackman. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Righty delivers. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next offering is way upstairs. That one in for a strike, two and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Pineda keeping an eye on him. The pitch. Foul ball. Next pitch just misses, and the count's full. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Hillier headed for the plate. Mendick with a relay home. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And now it's Elias Diaz. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Elias Diaz sends it out. Home run number 10 of the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. Here's Seven, Alex Kirilov. No left field. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kirilov. Oh. 
And here it comes. Late that time, and it's strike two. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Nope. Stay back. Next pitch downstairs, and the count is two and two. And he deals. He swings and fouls one off. Two-two now. Rolled slowly to first. Vaughn picks it up. He'll do it himself. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. And here is Willie McIver. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Slice the other way and foul. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. On the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Here's Garrett Hampson. Not, not shortstop. First offering way inside. Almost got him. The pitch. And a good eye there. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. Next offering down in the dirt. Three two down. Fought off foul. Got him looking. Out number three. Back here in Denver, leading off Tyler Black. The line of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Next pitch, way upstairs. Ground ball up the middle. Fires to first on the run. Leadoff man retired here in the third. At the play, Danny Mendy. The second baseman, Danny First pitch just misses. Ball one, no strike. Righty to the plate. Out to center. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Ryan Vallade, and he'll be out there in center after the injury. Now playing center field. Luis Robert now. Ryan Vallade. Up next for the White Sox. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Luis Robert. Next one misses. Ball one. Mend it over at first with one away. On the ground to third. Sneaks through. Base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Now batting. So up right next for Chicago, Josh yeah. Naylor. Over one so far. He checks his swing, and that's a foul ball.
down the right field line. That's a base hit. Mendick around third. He scores, and it's now a two-run game. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Maybe a little out the front of the pitch right the there, but he squared it up and pretty good, really and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long a single. Ball at the plate now. That's ball one. Foul ball there. First and third, one down. And there's a foul ball. It's a one-two. And that one is lifted in the air. Belay glides to his left. He's got it. Runner tags for third. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score. It's 3-2. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is down low, and that's ball two. Kicks and deals. Now 3 and 0. Oh. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Next offering is fouled back. And a payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a three two. And he grounds one to the right side. Rogers collects, whips it to first. And that is that. And welcome back. And now the DH, Yonathan Daza. Way to go for the Rockies. The designated First hitter. offering misses Yonathan. the mark. Daza. And the 1 0. In the air, right field. Naylor on the move towards the line. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Colton Welker digging the in for the Rockies. Reason, number four, Colton. Welcome. And that's in there for strike one. Next pitch is popped up. Mendick settles under this one. Makes the grab for the second out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. No Had matter. pretty good Double timing seven. on it. Just got underneath second it a little baseman. bit and popped it up. Brendan. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. First offering misses back for ball one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. That one missed. Now three and oh. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. In for a strike. Now three and one. And a pitch. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back here at the ballpark, here's the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. Now the corner for a strike, and that's strike one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning for a lot of pitches. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. And here is Jorge Polanco. Doubled in his first debut. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one drilled left field. That's back. Jumps, but it's off his glove. It bangs off the wall. 
And the tying runs at second base with a double. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Just about got it out of here down the line to left. So I'm sure he wishes he could have put a little more behind it. But he's got to feel good about that missile off the wall. The lead. Long run. Flashes the leather on the run at fast. Runner tags at second. And he moves up to third. Now two away. Tyler Black. Steps to the plate for the White Sox. Look out! And it hit him. Well, he's just glad they got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. So two outs with runners on the corners. And next to hit for the Sox, Danny Mendy. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. It's off his chest. Runner from third into score. Back even, it's 3-3. Three, three. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Bottom four, here's the Rockies' cleanup hitter, Ryan Vallee. Here we go for the Rockies. Head to the zone, call the strike. Going around. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. The next pitch misses. Going to count 1 and 2. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. Well, that's a frustrating right into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Bounced out to short. In time to ball. Already two gone here in the home four. Here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. Oh, yes. Diaz. In there for strike one. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at Coors Field, ready now for the fifth inning. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Luis Robert. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. The next offering misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. And a pitch. That clips a corner. Lifted in the air, right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's Josh Naylor. First pitch, just misses. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Next pitch is popped up. Hampson makes the catch. Two away. Next to hit, Andrew Vaughn. He's over one. Andrew Vaughn. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand up double. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Oh, Absolutely the punished that pitch. Okay. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Rudder at second, two down. Swing and a miss and a change up in the dirt. That completes the strikeout and that'll do it. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Alex Kirilov. For the Rockies, the left fielder, Alex Kirilov. 
Fowler. Base hit right field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. The bat. Next to hit for the Rockies, Willie McIver. In there, and it's 0-1. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next pitch misses, and one and one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that drops foul. Here's a one-two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Righty delivers. And now it's three and two. pitch and there's ball four man that's a tough one to take on the full count but I guess he saw it really well it's a really nice play to pick Garrett Hampson digging in for the Rockies that first offering is fouled off and the righty deals on the ground to third they get the tag on him double play that was some defensive wizardry. Here's Colorado's DH, Yonathan Daza. Two, designated hitter, Yonathan Daza. First off, bring it just misses. And it's second. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. The pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And the pitch. Got him looking. And that is the inning. Top of the sixth inning. Aloy Jimenez now sends a teller back to work. Ball one and a pitch inside. Jimenez. Right hander kicks deals. That misses. And it's two and one. The pitch. That one missed. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. But why to kick the pitch? Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Rogers throws the first. And they take care of Jimenez for the out. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. That one fouled off. Next offering upstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next one off the plate inside. And it's 2 and one The wind of the pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Two outs. Base is empty. Now Here's the White Sox DH. Suzuki. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. On the ground, out to short. Rolls across the diamond. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jose Ruiz. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. 
Ruiz. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Welcome back. Bottom of the Where sixth inning. Here's We're the, the third baseman, Colton third Welker. Baseman. First Colton. offering, misses the mark. Welker. And the right hander deals on the ground. Mendick picks it up. The throw to first. A great play deep in the hole. Next for Colorado, Brendan Rogers. Second baseman, First pitch, and he just misses. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That now front pass. shoulder coming Center open fielder. instead of staying closed. Oh, yeah. If he does that, he's oh, going to be able hey. to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Now it's Ryan Vallee. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Yoan Duran. He's pitching on two days rest. Back here in Denver, we go to the top of the seventh. Now here is Tyler Black. The shortstop. Tyler. The pitch. Swings through that one. You want one ball, one strike. Swing and a high fly ball in the air, left field. That one's deep, and it's off the wall. Safe at second with nobody out, and that double has the go ahead run in scoring position. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Runner leads away at second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. In the dirt. The throw comes in too late and they come away without an out. Right handed reliever. That's the first out, the top of the seven. Back to the top of the lineup, and up next for Chicago, Luis Robert. And that's in there for strike one. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Here's the sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. Be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Line drive. Kirilla puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags for home. The run scores from third. It's 4-3. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. Next to hit, Josh Naylor. First pitch, not close. The 1-0. Upstairs. Bounce to the right. Oh, a great stop. Onto the pitcher. And very nicely dumped the apple. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seven. Kendall Graveman. And this is appearance number 45.
And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the right fielder, Here Charlie Blackman. Blackman. The right fielder. And Charlie. here it comes. Blackman. And that one wrapped foul. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. The tying run at the plate. And one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. On a line. Robert makes the grab. One down. Well, off the bat, it looked like they might get that tying run on base. Maybe even extra bases. No oh, yeah. dice, though. A little unlucky yeah. about that. Now, here is Elias Diaz. So two balls and no strikes. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Two one pitch is in there, and the count is even. the 2-2 and a swing and a miss and he's down on strikes for the second time today Alex Kirilov digging in for the Rockies one for two that one's in there 0-1 pitch misses there and now it's even one and one Two outs. That one hammered center field. That's back there. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Put a great swing on that pitch to deep center field. And we knew it was going to be close, but just not quite enough. I'm sure a few of his teammates might be yelling weight room at him right now, but he should definitely feel good about that one. Next one is off the plate, and the count is 2-0. Next offering is in for a strike. So the tying run at second, and it's even up. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. Third out. We're at the top of the eight, and now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Leading off to the right side. The, first base the right hander back to work. Andrew. That's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Strike two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. First out in the top of the eighth. Stepping now in, back. the long ball That's threat, Yasmani Grandal. In there for strike one. Kicks and fires. Good eye right there. One down, base is empty. On a line, out towards center. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. 
Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Aloy Jimenez steps to the plate for the White Sox. In there, and it's 0 1. Kick San Diego. Runner on the go to the left side, but it is well fouled. And a pitch. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. A couple of hits in a row Not for bad. him here. Solid Great. swing from start to end. Oh, on time with everything. Oh. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive nine. Polanco in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Next pitch is outside. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. In the air, right side. Blackman gliding as he moves to his left. Pulls it down and his two gone. And next is the designated hitter, Suzuki. Number 48. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Next one misses. 3 and 0. Oh. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 oh count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Two outs, bases full. So up next for Chicago, Tyler Black. Line, and that's a base hit. One runs in. Another comes in to score. Another scores. They clear the bases, and they lead by four. How about that? Clears the bases. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap, and I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Tyler Kinley. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Man at second here with two away. To the batter now, Danny Mendick. Blackman on the move to his left. Next offering is in for a strike. Second with two down. And a pitch. That misses the zone. Now one and two. One and two. The pitch. And now it's even up. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next pitch, not close, up high. So now three and two. Got it. Good job at damage control right there. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Kyle Crick trying to protect this lead. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now, Garrett Hampson. Leading off for the Rockies. The shortstop. Here comes a pitch. 
In the air, out towards right center. Robert moving under this one. Brings it in. One up, one down. So now the DH spot. Jonathan Daza. Designated hitter, Jonathan Daza. Check swing in the first pitch. Appeal down to first. And Joe McDonald says he went around. The 0-1. Strike on the inside corner. Righty delivers. Way inside. Gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. And the righty deals. Does it. Started after it. Tried to hold up. Now a look to first. And yes, he offered at it. Two outs. Base is empty. Base Colton Number Welker four. digging in for the Rockies. Welker. Right side. Mendick over to pick it up. Tosses to first. That ends the inning. Back here at Coors Field, and now it's Luis Robert. Leading off for the White Sox, the center fielder. Luis. And the pitch. Robert. There's a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. The next pitch misses. Yeah, the count one and two. The punch out there and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Stepping in, Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Line drive, and there's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Vaughn stands in here, takes ball one low. First offering, runner goes. And a foul ball. Pitch. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Well struck left field. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. An absolute blast to left. Home run number five on the season. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 9-3. One out, base is in. Now here's the switch inning power threat, Yasmani Grandal. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The one. Way high. The 1-1. One -one. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. The 2-2. Two -two. And that one in the air center field. Pallade settles under it. And it's caught for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And next now to him for the Sox, Aloy Jimenez. Aloy Jimenez. 
That one's in there on one. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, here's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. Leading off for the Rockies. The pitch. The second baseman. Brendan. All one there. Rodgers. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Ryan Vallade Up now at the plate. The center fielder. Ryan. Play. Next offering is down low. One and oh. At the belt and fires. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. 2 0. -oh. And this is inside. There's a strike, three and one. Three balls, one strike. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. I Got know. him looking. Back to back strikeouts. Here's Chuck Nasty. Number 19. Blackman. Fly ball to right. And he's got it. Ball game. 